Today we look at the new secret layer of Marvel and determine whether it's marvelous or disaster. Waffles in the morning, syrup sweet and slow. Golden stacks are rising, sunrise in the glow. Sticky choice so grand, breakfast on demand. Smile and take my hand in Waffle Wonderland. What's up everybody, welcome to the Waffle Cast. So today we're going to be talking about the Marvel secret layers that just dropped, right? I'm going to be going over the financials of this. I'm going to be looking at uh, certain aspects of it, how much it's going to cost you, uh, what type of value you're getting, and we're going to be uh, looking at the financial implications of some of these cards that are being printed into this set, okay? So there are five secret layer drops coming, okay? You can either buy them in the non-foil or the rainbow foil. The non-foils are going to cost you about $39.99, which is about 40 bucks. And then the non or the rainbow foils are about forty nine ninety nine, which is fifty bucks in U S dollars. Okay, uh, everything I'm going to be pricing is in U S dollars today. So if you want to convert or you're really good at doing it in your head, hey, have fun at it. But I'm going to be doing it all in U S dollars. So if you were to buy all five secret layers in the non foil, it's going to cost you about one hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, or if you buy um, all of them in the rainbow foils, it's going to cost about two hundred forty nine ninety nine. 96 or whatever okay the thing is is they're offering a promotion that if you spend at least over a hundred dollars 99 dollars you get free shipping and if you spend 199 dollars basically if you buy all five you get a sweet arcane signet and i'm saying that facetiously because arcane signet's been printed to high heaven and back so but i mean it does have a cool alternate art it's the earth's mightiest emblem um, which is the Avenger symbol. So take it as you want. Um, I'm going to leave my opinions for the end. And so we're just going to go over this financial stuff in the beginning. So the first one we want to look at is the Black Panther secret layer, right? You have Black Panther Wakanda King, uh, Secure the Waste, Bast Blessing, which is actually Primal Vigor, Heroic Intervention, uh, Wakandan Skyscraper, which is Karn's Bastion, and a warrior token in there. So, um, obviously, all of the actual hero cards don't have any pricing right now. Uh, when I went through TCG Player, what I did was I found the lowest uh, value version of the card in, like, not in a alternate art or whatever. Like, a lot of them was, like, the original printing, like, of whatever set it came out. Like, Secure the Waste came out in, uh, I want to say it's, like, it's not cons of Tarkir, it was like dragons of Tarkir, somewhere in there. But you get the picture. I went and found the, what would be like the cheapest version of this to throw in your commander deck. Because let's be real, these are all for commander. Okay, so uh, with the Black Panther set, you have Secure the Waste, which comes in at about a dollar and a penny. Primal Vigor, which is about $6.86 for the cheapest copy. Rogue Intervention, $10 and a penny for the cheapest copy. And Karn's Bastion, about a dollar seventy-one. So what what I did was I took all of the cards that weren't a token or the the actual hero themselves and added their value together. So if you were to buy the Black Panther one and solely add up the value of these four cards of Secure the Ways, Primal Vigor, Heroic Intervention, and Karn's Bastion, comes out to about nineteen dollars and fifty-three cents. Now, give or take, I do think that some of these heroes are going to push $20 a piece. Uh, like Iron Man could push up there. Uh, Wolverine and Storm might push it. But the thing is, is um, with the heroes in there, we might be able to add a 5 to $10 differential right now to kind of put in there. I don't know what is going to be popular and what isn't. There is no real pricing right now on TCG for this. So with that being said, if you were to buy it $39.99, you're looking at about a $20 loss. Um, so let's move on to the next one, which is Captain America, right? So Captain America First Avenger, you have Sigarda's Aid, which is Captain America's Aid, Flawless Maneuver, Into the Trenches, and Sword of War and Peace. Uh, but they have it as Shield of War and Peace. Very, very um, good naming there. <laughs> um, so with Sigarda's Aid, about $7.04, Flawless Maneuver, $8.79. Uh, Into the Trenches, which is from Brothers War, is $0.31. Cents. And $7.19 for this, the cheapest copy of Sword of War and Peace. So with that being said, you're looking at about 
for those four cards, not including Captain America, which let's say he's five to ten dollars, you're still looking at twenty-eight to thirty-three dollars. If we don't account for him, you're still looking at about a sixteen dollar loss uh, buying the Captain America one by itself. Okay. Then we get into Iron Man, which is one of the better ones. Uh, it actually comes out to be the second most expensive grouping. Uh, Iron Man, Titan of Innovation. You've got Galvanic Blast, which is about $1.81. Commander's Plate, which is $33.03. That's a big hit there. Uh, Soul Ring. You know everybody loves Soul Ring, baby. That's what I'm here for. Is kind of fluctual uh, depending on which one you go for. But I, I looked at a lot of the secret layer, um, the secret layer drops of the non foil versions, and it runs about $11.14. And then you got Inventor's Fair, which is about $13.22, um, as it was only printed in Keladesh, or yeah, I think it was Keladesh or Aether Revolt, either way. And then we're not going to factor in the treasure token, treasure token is what it is. Um, but you're looking at about $59.20. That's about a $20 uh, profit there, getting the Iron Man one. Now, let's get, and, and if you haven't noticed, these are all pricing on non-foil. Foil, you probably could do a lot better, um, obviously. So then we go into Storm here. Uh, Storm Force of Nature, we have Lightning Bolt, which there's quite a few Lightning Bolt secret layer um, but the cheapest one I could find was about, uh, for the, like the borderless, not the text, um, not like the weird, um, extended art frames or whatever. It was all borderless. It was about $11 and nine cents. Just guys will, which is about $18 and 74 cents. And ice storm was a little tricky, um, because it was printed in, uh, I think it was Alpha, Beta, and Unlimited. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it was. But either way, um, the collector's edition of Ice Storm is about $8.23. So if you buy like a collector's edition and play it, which a lot of people probably would. Um, and then Manamorphose is about $4.19. So if we take the collector's edition version, you're looking at about $42.25. If we take... The, the collector's edition out and we have the cheapest version besides that it's at $55 because it's, it is it I believe it's a reserve list card um, I could be wrong but it's still a very valuable valuable card if you put that in there you're pushing like 70 80 dollars for this grouping um, so I'm just gonna go with the collector's edition here because a lot of people probably buy the collector's edition one if they want to put ice storm in their deck Destroy target land. Um, there's a lot of things that do that, so I don't think it's it, it, people are going to want to put you know the fifty-five dollar version. But anyways, I mean there are some people out there that do. But uh, and then the last one, which is the Wolverine one. Wolverine best there is, um, and actually comes out to be the best bundle <laughs> for value wise, which is kind of funny. Um, but Berserk, Rite of Passage, Rhythm of the Wild, and Adamantium Bonding Tank, which is the Ozzlo. So Berserk will run you about $19.63. Rite of Passage, you can find copies for $5.18. Uh, that was originally printed in Fifth Dawn. Rhythm of the Wild, about $2.88. But the big hit is the Ozolith coming in at $33.44. So with that, this, this one comes out to being $61.13. Uh, the Storm one, you hit about even. Wolverine, it's about a $20, $22 profit. So with that in mind, I added all of these up. And if you were to buy all five together for 200 bucks without the hero cards and the tokens in there, you're at about $205.44. Um, so with the non-foil and the foil, I think you're going to break even <clears throat> with all of the reprinting cards in here. Um, the, the thing that will push you over is the actual hero cards. Um, so in conclusion, this is, it's, the bang is worth the buck, right? The buck is worth, the, yeah, the bang is worth the buck in there. You, you will get your money back and then some. Now I, I am going to say with a little bit of caution here, the prices will dip on a lot of these variants of these cards. Cause as I said, I was pulling from 
copies that you can purchase as of right now because a lot of these uh, secret layer versions are not purchasable and i think with the amount of cards that are here like commander plate uh heroic intervention um the ozolith things like that they will go down a little bit but i think they will go back up especially with the art that they have on them it won't cause it to tank too badly but in the long run uh secret layer tends to hold its value pretty well unless it's a subpar card um like or a card that's been printed to oblivion and really doesn't matter too much like fatal push or things like that but even lightning bolt kind of holds pretty well because it's lightning bolt but like galvanic blast it's only like a dollar 81 so i don't i don't foresee the secret layer galvanic blast pushing above ten dollars it might be three or four dollars a copy um, but the point is is if you are looking to invest in these and hold on to them um, I do believe it is a good investment for the short term slash long term because of it being a collector's item with Marvel and things like that. But <clears throat> now we're going to get to my opinion on this. Um, I don't like these. Okay. I, I am a huge Marvel fan. I am a huge, you know, um, into the, the X-Men and things like that. But bringing it into magic, I don't like it. Um, I think this is a total money grab, which, I mean, I get it. Some people are super into it and they want to play with it. That's fine. For me personally, I won't be buying this. I won't be diving into it at all or doing anything of that sort. Um, because let's be real. This was specifically made uh, for Commander. I would say 60% for Commander, 30% for Collector's. And the last 10% is to try to draw people in from the Marvel Universe as another item to collect into their collection of my Marvel items, whether it be lunch boxes, um, dinner plates. I don't know why that came into mind, but whatever collectibles that deal with Marvel. And there's just another thing to add into their collection. So um, for the standpoint of like modern legacy, legacy, you might see some play with maybe like Black Panther or um, some of these staple cards like Lightning Bolt and Berserk. I think Berserk's banned anyways. But the point is, is and Manamorphos we'll see in Modern. Um, you know, there, there's, a, there's few cards here that could be played in certain formats. But they're not, def this, is, this wasn't defined for those formats is what I'm trying to say. This was strictly for Commander. So... Um, this is what we get, you know, this is, this is majority of secret layer is commander based driven product. And we're going to continue to see that. Um, it's also collector based driven. So, um, if you're in those two realms and you're super stoked about it, I think this is an, an amazing buy for you. I think it's, it's definitely a thumbs up. Um, and it's, and it's going to be for probably for as long as they print this and, and people collect it. So, that's my opinion on it and the verdict of it's a great buy. Um, so if you're looking into it and you want to get into it now, if you're, if you're trying to solely pick up the one that has the best value as of right now, uh, it's going to be Wolverine and Iron Man. Those two uh, I can see being the most expensive as of right now and also holding value over the long run. Um, people love Iron Man. People love Wolverine. Uh, I'm not saying they don't love the other three, but those are two iconic characters that people really resonate with. So um, I would say that those are my two picks for being the ones that hold the value and go up f better than any of the other ones. But uh, I could be wrong, um, which a lot of times I am, and sometimes I'm right. So anyways, <clears throat> that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys got something out of it. Maybe... Maybe you guys were wondering, hey, you know, what's the value in this? Is it even worth it? Like, what are, what are the cards even that are in here? You know, you can go. I'm going to put the link down below of the announcement so you can go uh, to the Wizards website and see the cards for yourself. Um, that way it's so much easier because it takes a ton of time to try to edit all of these cards in. Um, so you're only going to see the names of the cards and the prices when I do the editing. So... Uh, and you've already seen that, so I don't know why I'm even telling you at the end. But anyways, <clears throat> put your comments down below. I'd love to have a uh, conversation with you guys about what you guys think. Are you guys picking all of them up? Are you only picking up select ones? 
Are you like me and you're staying completely out of it? Please let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, with that, I'm going to leave you guys like I always leave you. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, stay syrupy, my friends. Waffles in the morning, syrup seed